Champions League final and Real Madrid 15 time champions of Europe. At this point, but she Gina, he copy kwetu named after wow. Like what 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 are the rest of us doing? This is utter domination. Um I was unwell, so I didn't get to watch the entire game. Um I watched highlights. Um and I woke up like the last 10 minutes when <laughs> the goals were going in. <coughs> um Carvajal, clutch, clutch, clutch. Um these guys are just winners. Like at this point, they have when you look at the Dortmund team, I don't like Marco obviously. Kumels, those are guys who've been to Champions League finals. But like Real, you have people like Nacho. It was Nacho, Modric, Cross, and I, who else? I forget who the fourth person is. Who have just won their sixth title, like their sixth Champions League title. There are people who don't even win. Ronaldo, phenomenal, never even won one Champions League title. Like this is insane. This is like it, it's a class of their own. You know, like six Champions League titles is a class of their own. But I think the person we need to give props to, like a lot of props to, is Carlo Ancelotti. For me, I feel like the way this guy keeps on reinventing himself. I remember when he was fired from Bayern. Uh, one of the reasons he was fired was like Robin. <laughs> Robin said that the training sessions are easier than his child's training sessions when the kid plays um, under whatever, under eight or under ten, whatever it was. And then he got fired, and then we all thought like that's it. The guy went to, I think, he went to Everton after that, and. Again, just reinventing yourself, finding ways to motivate people. In this game, they are not in it. Let's just be honest. Like, but Real have this habit of not being in games and then just taking over. As Samiro always says, football is a game of moments. They take their moments. When Vinny gets a moment, he takes it. You know, Carvajal in that case takes it. Um, yeah, man. Like, what do you do about Real? There's nothing to say about Real. Tony Cruz, sixth title. Like, your last game for Real is you lifting the title for your team. Um, all of a sudden, someone like Nacho now becomes a... Nacho, to me, Nacho is almost like a Gary Neville, where it's like, you would never say he's the best defender in the world, but the guy just keeps winning. And once his career is done, you're going to look at everything he has done, and you look, six Champions League titles, if he doesn't win more, right? Um, yeah, man, this, this, this team is a juggernaut. This team does not make sense. It actually doesn't make sense how they keep winning. Bellingham now has the confidence of I don't know how many people, but people keep saying Bellingham's PR team is on top. New Kweli. Hey, that guy, afterwards, CBS is interviewing him, and you think he scored a hat-trick in the final. Yet, look, man, Ademola, who scored a hat-trick, is not even being put into posters by Sky Sports. That's a story for another day. Um, and now Mbappe is going to join this team. Um, yeah, guys, like, let's just call it, like, this one is over. They're probably winning again next year, um, barring any unforeseen circumstances. Um, the only thing we can do is they have, we wish that they have a, a, a like a, a quarterfinal, semifinal. It was quarterfinal, like last season, not this season, last season when Man City beat them. A team that's just a juggernaut just comes and kills them from the get-go because that's the only way. This team, you have to make it play from the back foot from the first moment. But yeah, that's next year and beyond. This year, we need to celebrate greatness. This is just... We've never seen anything like this. Champions League is supposed to be one of those things that are so hard, so hard to win. Um, for a long time, we said winning a back-to-back -back Champions League is almost impossible because no one barely did it. Real went and won three in a row. Um, now they've won two in another two years. Like that, it's insane. It's actually madness. Carlo Ancelotti, you're the man. I think we need to start having that conversation. Carlo Ancelotti, top three manager of all time. He has to be there. It's the diversity. He's gone and coached a team that's almost being relegated. Brought them back up. Not up, but brought them back to relevance. Then goes to Real. Coached Bayern. He's won a title with AC Milan as well. Um, almost won in 205 as well, if it wasn't for the brilliance of uh, Gerard and Milan Baros uh, in, in Istanbul. And uh, Xabi Alonso as well was in that squad. So, yeah, man. What can you say? What can you say? Real, 15-time champions. Congratulations and yeah, celebrate. Now let's see Bellingham lifting the Euros.